Hi folks, Old South Sales in Jackson, Mississippi. Where we sell trucks, we sell mostly diesel trucks. We sell one of every kind, folks. We're gonna list a truck today that we really like, I like a lot in particular because it's a GMC Duramax. And I promise you for every 40, 30 or 40 Fords you find on the market, you can find one GMC or Chevrolet Duramax. Don't know why that is, they sell as many. I guess it's because they keep them in the family or whatever, but a Duramax is really, really hard to find. This is a one owner truck, folks, a 2008 GMC 2500 HD SLT package. Every available option, Duramax engine. I, you know, Dan, Dan chastises me all the time when I get too exuberant in describing these. And I won't, I'm not gonna say that this truck is pick proof because someone can say, ah, oh, 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 oh. but let me tell you, it's as close as they get to being pick proof. A 2008 GMC Duramax four wheel drive, every option SLT, and it absolutely as nice as they come, period. And I know, I know somebody's cousin's uncle's aunt's brother bought one, but that was, but but he didn't. He didn't buy one nicer than this. Come on, we're gonna show it to you. Glass is perfect, sitting on a perfect set of, of tires. These are Bridgestone, Bridgestone tires. Bridgestone. They're high dollar tires. Okay, folks. It's a one owner truck. Obviously there's no rust issues. Now I particularly like these big flares. Dan's kind of ambivalent about them. But if anyone, if anyone decided that they didn't like these, they'll obviously come off and the paint's not scratched underneath them. But yeah, they, a lot of they time, look great to me. A lot of times they get paint damage where this sits, but we checked and the paint's not messed up around these edges, look, so you'll be they fine. They look great. Uh, it's a one know. owner truck, you can see it is an Allison Duramax 2500 HD, the windshield's perfect, the glass is all perfect. Look, look at the step bar here, look inside at the kick panels. I want you to look at how new this interior is. Now we didn't clean it up like this, no we didn't. We didn't insert the and seats we didn't, or recover uh, the console. No, we didn't or do any of that. Any. This is the way we got it. The headliner, is everything about it is absolutely perfect. Now I don't know how they succeeded in driving it. It's only got 180,000 miles on it, but it wasn't any cleaner the day it left the showroom floor than it is right now. Look at it, we need to get that key out. Uh, it was not any cleaner. It has no odors in it, no smoke odors, no pet odor. Got these high dollar, uh, uh, look at the carpet. You can see it under here. It's brand new. You can see it inside these panels. It's never, it doesn't appear to have ever been off the road. Power on both sides. It's just a wonderful truck. Dan, you just gonna show something? It's got heated seats. It's got memory seats. It's got power folding mirrors. It's got the built-in trailer brake controller, automatic headlights, fog lights, steering wheel controls for the stereo. And I don't know if that's mute or Bluetooth. I think it's Bluetooth, but it may just be mute. Two sets of keys, two sets of remotes. Got all that with it. Carpet's good, not stained up. You can see the bottom of the good side cab. Here. It's a southern truck, no rust. No paint work, never had any, doesn't need any. Look back here. Got rear defrost, has rear controls for the stereo extra cup holders. Now these fold up, it's got the full width. I guess that's a WeatherTech mat, but uh, it goes all the way across. You can fold these down. Headliner's not stained up. Cab corners are good on it. Not even any marks on the kick panels. You can see here, this is where you always find paintwork, folks. Right here, these painters, they will not take care of that. Never had any paintwork, doesn't need any. The flares are perfect. Look under here, it's got the original spare under it. You can see, look, and here it's never been in gravel and all that. It's not dinged up. Someone has got the original uh, spray in bed liner. It's never been cut. For a gooseneck or a fifth wheel hitch or Does anything. Doesn't look like anything's ever been in it. These are just leaves that but I will guys look at, look at how thick this is, son. I mean, that spray-in bed liner, 
they put it in this one, folks. This this is pretty cool. Uh, it'll latch. I don't have handy. it turn the lock, but it slides all the way in, or you can slide it back, latch it. And we have the key to it. Tailgate's clean, you not beat up. You don't ever see a tailgate that clean. It's not picked up. Like I say, I'm I'm astonished at how this man drove this truck. Not a rock pack on it. Look down the side. I can't till you move. To. Uh, it's been obviously it's been in a garage all of its life. You can see under here. I mean, literally not a pick. Look at this line on the bed. You can see nothing's ever been in the bed and beat it around. The back is. <laughs> I'm, Pretty, pretty, pretty amazing truck. I don't, don't look like anyone's ever sat in that seat. Now I'm sure they have. Well, look, you can see up here, the dash is perfect. Uh, look in that. As I tell you folks, this truck wasn't any nicer the day it left the dealership, so new. We got a bunch of the books and records on Star manuals for the truck registration slips and stuff it has the skid plates limited slip 373 has the uh, z71 package off-road the z82 which i think is the heavy duty towing got all the good stuff floors look good weather tech mats heated over here as well has the LED lights and the side mirrors it's just about as new now I can tell you folks you can go to I don't know what a new one cost I imagine close to 60 but you can go down and pay sixty thousand dollars for a new one 80 or what 70 or whatever the only difference between the brand new one and this truck I, I don't know. I don't know what it would be except uh, the year model and you'd have the satisfaction of knowing that you was going to lose about $40,000 in the next five years and that's just what it means. You can buy a truck like this that the depreciation is already out of. You can drive it five years and everything stays. You might on this truck lose $100 a month. That might be the depreciation if that much. I can promise you on a brand new one you're gonna lose about forty thousand. All that said, all that said, this is just about as nice a truck as you'll ever find on the secondary market, and it is the truck that everyone's looking for. It's a GMC SLT Duramax Sierra. Diesel 2500 HD. Got it. Got everything. Only got it uh, 180 thousand miles on a, a perfect set of tires. Everything about it, no paintwork, no dings, no pings. It's just ready to go. Whoever buys this truck will be real pleased when you see it, I promise you. Thanks for watching our video, folks. We do appreciate it. Look forward to visiting with you about this truck, seeing you here in Jackson, Mississippi. Thank you. Hi, folks, Dan Dell here. I'm gonna take you on a test drive. Before I do, just wanna show you a few things under the hood. First of all, we don't clean under hoods. This is just how we got it. So you can see this truck has spent very little, if any, time off-road. And the reason I can say that is all these bare aluminum pieces, when they get splashed with hot, muddy water, they get a brown patina that you cannot clean off. And this one doesn't have any of that. Um, all these pipes and stuff are good. Now there's some leaves, but it's been parked under a tree at my place, so I can't be helped. Uh, the main thing I want to show you is no blow by, not even any smoke. Although smoke's not a big deal as long as it's not puffing. The main thing is set the cap down on the filler, it doesn't blow off. Now if it were to blow off, that would mean it has blow by. Not necessarily a sign of a bad engine, but it's a sign of wear that this truck doesn't have. It also has the extended life antifreeze, it's perfect. Usually it kind of turns black after a while in this overflow tank for whatever reason on a diesel, but on this one it's clean, so obviously it's been well serviced. It even has AC Delco batteries, so between that and the Bridgestone tires, that should tell you how well this truck's been maintained because 
somebody that's not maintaining their truck, they're gonna slap some cheap batteries in, some cheap tires. They're not spending the money on the name brand. But uh, anyway, we'll hop in, take you uh, for a spin. Okay, now we're in the truck. Before I get going, just wanna show you a few things. Power pedals, parking sensors. I don't know what that, oh, that's rear defrost. Uh, dual zone, auto climate. None of the buttons are wore out. You can see it's on satellite radio right now, but uh, I wanna say, yeah, six disc CD changer, auxiliary input, tow haul mode. You can manually shift it if you want. Um, you can see all the different stuff you can pull up, fuel range, uh, average economy. Although uh, we've been driving around town for a while, so it's probably lower than it might be otherwise. There's all your other stuff like four wheel drive. See it goes right in, comes right out. And auto headlights, fog lights, all that good stuff. Steering wheel controls, um, volume, turn this down, uh, source, different different goodies like that um, now there are two things to nitpick on the interior there's a tiny little crack right there which every one of these gets all the 08 to 13 or 14 they all have that and there's a little crack right here you can't even hardly see it but I just want to point it out because I don't want to risk bad feedback over something silly like that automatic dimming rearview mirror compass thermometer all that good stuff now you'll have to excuse my shaky camera work because I'm filming with one hand and driving with the other on some of the very worst roads in the city of Jackson so even though the video might come out a little shaky rest assured the truck itself has a great ride and drive no issues with any of that and one thing you can take away from all these bumps and stuff I'm going over is that the truck's tight. There's no clunks, no thunks or bangs or any of that mess when you're um, going down the road. It's quiet. Um, if you wanna fly in and drive this truck home, you can. I would not hesitate to drive it absolutely anywhere. Um, like Dad said, this was traded in to us on a uh, 2015 F350 Platinum guy just needed something to uh, a little bit heavier duty to tow a new trailer and um, had to get a dually but um, this one's never been cut for a gooseneck or a fifth wheel hitch but they will pull a pretty heavy weight now he had to pull like a 45 foot five slide fifth wheel so you know dually dually's what he needed but he he was sick about giving up this truck I can tell you that much um, but yeah, if you want to fly in during a regular business hours, Monday through Friday, 10 to 5, drive home, we'll be glad to pick you up at Jackson International. No extra charge. Um, I just set the cruise, see the little green light come on next to the speedometer, cruise works. See, I cancel and it goes back down. Um, the only thing I know of on this entire truck that does not work is this driver's mirror does not power fold but the passenger mirror does. And everything else, you know, the, the mirror works, all that works. Um, probably something simple, we'll try and figure it out. But in case I forget, or we don't, or can't, uh, I'm gonna point that out just in case. Although, usually it's not a hard fix. Probably needs to be greased. But um, anyway, that's all I can nitpick that I can find on this truck that doesn't work. So, um, you know, be 10 years old, that's that's not bad. There is one tiny little, I wouldn't even call it a rock peg, more like a flick. I don't know if you can see it in the camera, it's so, so minuscule, but it's there. Um, but that's the only thing I see in the windshield. It's really hardly worth mentioning. But like I said, we try our best to nitpick these vehicles in these videos as best we can because I don't want to risk bad feedback or anything over something minor now if there's major problems we try and fix them but um or we you know don't sell them but i don't know of anything other than that power folding mirror it doesn't work um it goes down the road like it should 
doesn't pull to the left or right, doesn't vibrate or pull when you hit the brakes. Now, if you're interested in this truck and you're like most of our customers, you're from the Northeast or the Midwest, we understand you may not have time to spend several days, especially around the holidays, flying or driving down and driving home. So with that being said, don't let the idea of having to deal with shipping turn you off from being interested in the truck. And if you look online for prices, don't let the prices you find online for shipping scare you off because most of these guys online that you find aren't actually shippers. They don't have a fleet of trucks out on the road. They're just brokers. And they'll charge you hundreds of dollars and they'll call it a deposit, but all it really is is their broker's fee for finding someone else to take the truck to you. And um, they all use this one website called Central Dispatch that's not open to the public to, to find somebody to do the actual hauling. Well, we've bypassed the middleman. We've joined Central Dispatch. We jump through all their hoops. We pay them two or three grand a year to be on there. So we can offer our customers basically wholesale rates on shipping. So if you're interested, shoot me a text or an email, 601-376-9869, and I'll be glad to get you a good ballpark figure on shipping. Or if you're anywhere near Dallas or Houston or Atlanta or pretty much anywhere in the state of Florida, I can get you a real good deal on shipping. So if you're interested, just let me know, and I can get you, like I said, a good ballpark figure. And um, basically the way it works is you buy the truck, pay us for the truck, you can either FedEx us a cashier's check or wire the money. Uh, we send you the paperwork and post it for shipment and then as soon as we find somebody we make all the arrangements. We're not the shipper, we just find somebody to ship it to you and uh, when they drop it off you just hand them cash for the shipping and that's it. Uh, we do it all the time, never had any issues. Now if you're more than six to eight hundred miles away it may take a little while. On average, it's three to five days. Oftentimes, we've had them picked up the same day. But, you know, if you're in Maine or somewhere, don't expect me to find somebody to ship this truck to you tomorrow. Uh, it may take a week or so. It just, it just varies. But um, on average, it's three to five days. But um, really, that's, that's pretty much all there is to say about the truck. I do want to point out, you can see no warning lights lit, no service lights, any of that. I like to show the dash after we've been driving a while just to prove there's no lights on because you know it's easy to hook your scan tool up and kill an ABS light or a service engine light or whatever. But if there's a problem and you haven't fixed it, then as soon as you start driving, that light's going to come right back on. So. Um, that's why I like to show the dash after we've been driving so you can see for yourself. There really are no lights lit on this truck. So beyond that, if you have any questions, give me a call. My name's Dan, 601-376-9869. Appreciate you watching the video and listening to everything I've had to say. Look forward to seeing you here in Jackson, Mississippi. Thank you.